Welcome to 22 and 23. Today's topic is vaginal sex. So, what is vaginal sex? Penetration of the vagina with penis, toy, finger, etc. Risks of vaginal penetration, uh, specifically with a penis, include pregnancy. This is the only form of sex that really carries the pregnancy risk. Um, and then STI, sexually transmitted infections. So a barrier method like a condom is the only way to prevent spread of sexually transmitted infections. Now, the big issue when it comes to vaginal penetration is often the issue of virginity or popping the cherry. Um, is vaginal penetration the ultimate mark of virginity? Medically speaking, no. Um, there are a variety of ways that someone can experience sexual pleasure and sexual intercourse, and so it's really a personal definition. The one thing that vaginal penetration does carry with it is again that connotation of popping the cherry, which comes from the description of the hymen, which is a piece of tissue that surrounds the vaginal opening. It is present to varying degrees in anyone with a vagina. So sometimes there's a lot of extra tissue and sometimes there's barely any. Um, the hymen can also tear or stretch well before any sort of vaginal penetration. Um, and it may also stretch and tear during the first few times of vaginal penetration. And you'll know that with a little bit of pain and bleeding as well. So um, that's kind of it though, because this hymen can tear or stretch before vaginal penetration, or it might not really be present at all. Hymen is not really a good marker for if someone's ever had penetrative vaginal sex. The other thing along those lines is that you don't need to have had sex to use a tampon. Anyone can try to use a tampon. On to your questions. Question number one. Does virginity exist from a medical perspective for girls? So this, just what I was talking about, no, it really doesn't. Um, that's why also doctors more focus on and even as uncomfortable it might as it might be we ask what types of sex you're having and who you're having sex with because it means nothing if i ask are you a virgin or not i care about the specific types of sex you're having and with whom because each type of sex carries different risks. And so I just wanna to talk to you about the different risks that are associated with different types of sex, but that's it. Um, so no, virginity means nothing in the medical world. Question number two. My girlfriend has bled excessively three times after vaginal penetration and her gynecologist tested her multiple times and said nothing is wrong and there's no cancer. Well, that's good. Um, I assume she did like a pap smear. Um, we wanted to figure out what was wrong and if there was any way we could fix it because we don't want her to bleed again. One of the times she had to go to the hospital. So this sounds like pretty significant bleeding. Um, again, so the first few times that someone has vaginal penetration, it's very possible for that hymen to tear and stretch or re-tear if it hasn't healed. So, um, that's probably what's happening, especially if a gynecologist has already looked in the vaginal canal and said things are okay. Um, so for, I mean, just a rough guess, for someone who's experiencing prolonged bleeding after sex, I would worry about a bleeding or a clotting disorder. And that can be tested for by a gynecologist or any, a PCP in general. Um, so that would be my next step. But just make sure that between sex uh, penetration she's giving that hymen time to heal because if it's torn but it hasn't completely healed, it's possible that it will re-tear and bleed again. Um, one other thing that you might wanna consider with your partner is using lube. So friction may also be contributing to things. So lubrication can help reduce the friction with vaginal penetration. 
Oh, and also if you're using condoms, maybe try a non-latex condom because sometimes people are sensitive to latex. And so if that's her, if you are using condoms, maybe try a polyurethane condom just to see if she's got some sensitivity to latex. Question number three, why does it burn when I have sex? I've been to the doctor and I have no problems down there. I'm allergic to lube and condoms because I get bladder infections every time. So I stopped using them with my boyfriend, but I still burn every time. I would say the biggest cause of this is still going to be likely friction because the pee hole, the urethra, and the vagina are very close together. Anytime there's insertion of something into the vagina, it causes that friction and rubbing against the urethra too. That irritation can then cause it to be painful when you pee after sex. So I would, this is a loose recommendation, I would try a different kind of lube. There are a few different types of lube, water-based, oil-based, silicon-based. Silicon-based are going to last a little bit longer um, and they're still safe with condoms, but um, it is likely still a friction issue. Um, I'm glad you're talking to your doctors about it too, to make sure nothing else is going on. A UTI is also then going to be the biggest culprit um, for ongoing burning when you pee. So um, peeing after sex can also help reduce, flush out some of the bacteria that happens with that rubbing and reduce the risk of a UTI, urinary tract infection. Question number four. Ever since I started being sexually active with my second boyfriend, my private area started smelling fishy. This never happened with my first. I got tested for STDs and it was all clear. What could it be? So an STD check is going to usually include chlamydia, gonorrhea, and then sometimes HIV, syphilis, some other things. Um, it generally won't include bacterial vaginosis, um, which can be a cause of a fishy smell because BV isn't necessarily a, an STD or an STI. So that might be one thing to talk to your doctor about, just make sure that was tested for. The other thing is that sometimes um, semen can, when it's in the vaginal canal, cause a bit of a reaction that creates a fishy smell. So see if, if you're interested, using a condom reduces that, or if he can pull out before ejaculation and see if you still have that issue. I would suspect it's one of those two. Question number five. My girlfriend is having lots of pain when we have sex and I really don't want her to. We tried oral sex and she said she really likes giving me a blowjob. Do we need to stick to a blowjob or try something else because she's having bad pain? So first of all, it's up to you. However you two want to share intimacy is totally your call. And if it's not with vaginal penetration, that's fine. Um, if you wanted to try it again, I would really um, for her, recommend one, checking in with a doctor if it's really bad. But two, the most likely culprit here is going to be dryness or not enough lubrication. So trying a lube, water-based, oil-based, unless you're using a condom, and then silicone-based. Any lube should do, but I suspect that might help a fair amount. Oh, and the other thing, foreplay. So doing more foreplay, maybe a little bit more with the clitoris will hopefully help relax and prepare for the next round of vaginal penetration because it's probably now a high anxiety situation. Question number six. I am a virgin. My boyfriend rubbed my vaginal lips rough from the outside through my clothes, but I felt pain and saw a few spots of blood afterward while wiping, but not on the panties. Could he have popped my cherry? All right, so pop cherry usually means torn your hymen. Um, it's possible, yeah. Um, it's tough for me to say for sure and probably even tough for you or your doctor to say for sure, but um, quite possible that he tore your hymen, yes. And that's okay. Again, virginity is, is how you take it personally. And just because your hymen may have torn does not mean that you are not a virgin if that's uh, how you measure it. 
Question number seven. My boyfriend and I noticed the last time that when he pulled his finger out after fingering me, there was blood. I was bleeding, but I felt nothing at all. There was no burning or pain in my vagina. The last time we had sex too, there was light blood outside the condom. I'm worried, I don't know what's happening with my vagina. Well, <clears throat> again, a few things that can cause some bleeding with vaginal penetration. STIs, STDs, STIs, if you haven't gotten checked, make sure you get checked. Friction can cause some irritation to the vaginal canal. So increasing lubrication will definitely at least help. Might not necessarily take it away, but could help. And the other is timing around your period. So if this is close to your period, both times, it's possible that this was a little spotting around your period time. Um, as usual, all of these can be discussed and reviewed with your doctor, but um, I would definitely, if STIs are at all on the table, a risk, go get checked. Question number eight. Recently, my girlfriend has felt pains when I penetrate her too deeply during sex. The pain comes from within, the deepest point of the vagina, like the cervix probably. We've been having sex for a year, over a year, and this has not happened before. Perhaps I was too rough? Maybe. So if it hurts, one, I would encourage her to just speak up. Two, the cervix is the deepest point of the vagina and it's possible that you are hitting some nerves that she never experienced before the cervix does have some nerves on them uh it on it uh so anyone experiencing pain with vaginal penetration again i really think an sti test would be pertinent and recommended here um but I would also encourage your partner just to speak up and talk. If something's too painful, try a different position. But it's probably that you hit some nerves that she hadn't felt before. Question number nine. I don't feel anything during vaginal penetrative sex. I don't know if I have sensory issues with my vagina or is something wrong with me? Or is this normal? This is normal. So, most likely. The vast majority of people don't experience sexual pleasure or orgasm from vaginal penetration alone. Um, something like 75% need clitoral stimulation or other forms of stimulation as well. So this puts you on the very normal spectrum of not really experiencing that sexual pleasure with vaginal penetration alone. And that's okay. You are okay. Have your partner stimulate other stuff or you can. Question number 10. Can I use saliva as an effective lube for penetrative sex when I don't have access to any other lube in the moment? Would this work and would it be healthy or would it dry up or harm the pH level of a vagina, etc.? Interesting. Okay, so I appreciate that you're asking about the pH level of the vagina as well, making sure that it keeps the vagina healthy. Yes, in the moment, for the most part, people the amount of saliva that you're going to be applying is not a huge amount, anything that should significantly disrupt the vagina. So it should be safe in the moment. But keep in mind that saliva dries up a lot faster than other forms of lube. And so if it's just quick to get things going, sure, it can help. But it will need reapplication if you're using it for prolonged periods of time. So um, it should be fine, used in typical, the amount that you can actually make. Um, the amount should be fine, but um, yeah. Try, uh, if you want something that lasts longer, try lube. And that'll do it for this round of 22 and 23.